Hello morning. As you can see, we are back in Richmond. And today it's a special day in Richmond. It's the inaugural Richmond Harvest Festival. And that will happen over this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So we came on this Saturday. It's a bright, beautiful, but bit chilly and cold day in Tasmania. It's a fantastic spot in Richmond and we are so fascinated. So we came back for this inaugural festival. Richmond and the Cold River Valley in general very famous for wineries and extraordinary produce and so it's a celebration of these extraordinary local produce and wines and I'm sure there will be a lot of bakery products on offer so we came to enjoy this and we'll make a short vlog on this inaugural Richmond Harvest Festival in 2024 Let's join us and enjoy this extraordinary spot with this extraordinary harvest festival. My background, as you know from our previous video, is the Richmond Stone Bridge, the oldest bridge in Australia, built over 200 years ago. And let's enjoy Richmond and this extraordinary Cold River Valley Harvest Festival in Richmond today. It's a very beautiful spot here and we came just off the Richmond town and look at the beauty of Tasmania. Walking to the festival site is like about 15 minutes walk from the Richmond town, but there are car parks here as well, so you can park here. We were watching and already saw a Qantas and a Virgin Australia flight leaving. It's very close to Hobart Airport. Look at what we have here. It's made with cast iron and it's pretty artistic. There are a lot of gears, and yeah that's a very nice thing to spot at the entrance of this harvest festival and look at the beauty here it's very countryside tasmania cold river valley and that's the town as you can see at the far that's the richmond town and we're walking for last 15 minutes and it's fantastic bright blue sky this is the beautiful entrance look at my background such a beautiful vineyard all across this site and this festival is very much celebrating local wineries and uh, Cold River Valley is very famous Southern Tasmania in general is very famous for various wineries and we have extraordinary wine produced locally and this harvest festival is probably one of our first uh, this kind of agricultural festival in Australia that we are visiting so it will be very nice and in this vineyard we're walking a little bit and there are a couple of horses coming I think they're the vineyard owner or observing something and uh, so we are waiting for to photograph that it will be a fantastic photograph a couple of horses uh, walking across this vineyard So this is the entrance as you can see there are two lamb or sheep made with concrete there are a lot of shops in a row and probably we'll just walk around and uh, experience what they're offering what they're selling and uh, we'll start from one side and we'll go around and look at all the shops and hopefully it will be very nice too there will be some cooking demonstrations and uh, cooking displays and hopefully we need to come back and we'll come back around 11 or 12 15 and to see what they're cooking with the local produce this is a shop from the pantry Tasmanian kitchen pantry cheese and different relish chutneys and jams and jellies they're selling some local sweets and product made with popcorns and nuts and also extra virgin olive oils are these all extra virgin olive oils uh, locally produced? Yes. yes. The olive trees are a little bit bigger, right? Yeah, the olive trees are some are as high as this, so 30 years old. Right, okay. Yes, so. And what difference is this from like Italian extra virgin olive oil? What will be the difference? Better quality. <laughs> <laughs> this is a famous brand, extra virgin olive oil. They sell in the supermarkets in Coles and Woolworths. Uh, an bit, Australian one? Yeah, Australian one. It has got like not very mild. It's, it has got a very strong flavor as well. Yeah. Bit bitter sometimes. Do you want to taste a little? Yeah, yeah, I can taste a little bit. It's delicious. Oh, you. 
the first harvest. Okay. Well, so I'm drinking the extra virgin olive oil, Tasmanian. Mm. It's different. It's almost like um, like beautiful. a bitter wine, <laughs> and you can cook with this as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. Cool. And not just the salad. No, not just the salad. salad. So, I, I deep fry it. Deep fry it in olive oil. Extra yeah. virgin olive oil. Yeah. Okay, that's so good. Because it's, it's so healthy. Yeah, yeah, very healthy. Yeah. Whereas normal vegetable oil deep frying is not so healthy, <laughs> and I have lots of it, so I just yeah, you don't need to buy oil. <laughs> Thank you. We got some pickled walnut. So the pickled walnuts looks like this, and uh, these are the walnuts outside when you take off the fruit outside and uh, they look quite dark and yeah the whole fruit is being pickled would you like to try uh, pickled walnut okay yeah. so you pickle the whole fruit yes you you um you basically crack it open and then basically <laughs> so, interesting flavor. Really, really lovely as an alternative in a salad or something like that. Some beautiful with a cheese butter. Mm. With, you know, just beautiful uh, cheddar cheese, a salt, very salty cheddar cheese. Yeah. But what happened the uh, inside the hard you shell? It, it oh, you take it out and then you pickle yeah. the yeah. soft fruit. Yeah. Okay, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're walking for a while and so we thought before we go around uh, there will be some live music so we will sit down and listen to the fast batch of music and this inaugural uh, harvest festival in Cold River Valley in Richmond is organized by Cold River Valley Tasmania Tourism Association and uh, it is a fantastic setup hopefully it will grow bigger and bigger and uh, it's a two-day event so we are visiting the first day of this inaugural festival and it will also happen tomorrow Sunday 7th of April and it's a fantastic spot it's a beautiful spot to have a picnic and try different local produce with live music what better you can have in Tasmania <laughs> There are a lot of local shops and business have their store here like Jasmine Kitchen. This looks like Thai Indonesian type of food and these vans are different shops. They are selling their local produce and different products. This is section 44 distillery and they are selling different whiskey, single malt whiskey. These are Tasmanian single malt whiskey. It's a pocket curry selling butter chicken and tikka dal. It's kind of like an Indian food they're selling. And these are few vineyards and brewing companies, local brewing companies. This shop is selling handcrafted Tasmanian cider. And this is another vineyard, Mapleton Vineyard selling local wines people are enjoying the good weather and trying different free wines this is Tashman in Oyster company Puli wine Puli wine is very famous here in southern Tasmania and this wicked cheese company actually if you come to Richmond on a tour there is a shop uh, wicked cheese company on the way to Richmond and you can stop there and try different cheese we buy this cheese from our local supermarket like Salamanca Fresh Uplands Vineyard another vineyard selling their wines and this is another distilling company selling local jeans so one of the jeans is Limoncello jeans Rosaline 1823 they are selling uh, malt wines Queen's Paste and they are selling also some cupcakes with blueberry the mulberry one so what is confiture 
like like a jam or a syrup. Kind of halfway between a syrup and a jam. Right. Okay. You can also have both. Um, both? Yeah, yeah. I, we can we can try a little bit both. So that's the mulberry one. This is mulberry, yeah. Okay. But do you like blueberry? Yeah, yeah. Let's try. My kids love. It. So the mulberry's got a slight sourness to it. The blueberry's very sweet. Lush. Very. So you normally try pancake or muffins with this kind of jam? So we could, yeah. Yeah, okay. just with yogurt, it's unbelievable. If you just have that on yogurt, it's with yogurt, awesome. okay. And I love. I mean, it's, it's last night I was having it the helping, so I couldn't stop. It was so good. Fantastic. And my okay. daughter, she likes to have creme fraiche or something, or just cream, like you know, normal full cream. Yeah. That's great. Look at this cupcake. It's the cupcake with mulberry and blueberry confiture. So, Ornima, try this. Oh, oh. Tart. Tart. Okay. Oh, yeah. Both are nice. Both are nice. Okay. Good. This shop is selling a special sweet cheese fried chicken brie pizza, wood fire oven pizza. And Wattle Banks are selling Tasmanian fish and chips here. And there are a lot of local stores and these Tasmanian island berries. They are selling chocolate, panna cotta or like honeycomb and chocolate sauce. And they are making fresh panna cottas with local products. Now we are going to buy a cheesecake. They have cheesecake on offering. And we are very tempted to test that cheesecake. Let's see if we can buy one. And these guys are selling cheesecakes and pies, Puddle Duck Vineyard. They're also selling their own wines as well. Do you want to try the... What is Bubble Duck? Sparkling. Sparkling wine, yes. Okay, right. So you basically cook the strawberry in the bubble. Okay. Okay, so do you want to the Varju one or Bubble Duck? Okay, we'll go for one strawberry and Bubble Duck. Got some spoons there. So that's, so that's the cheesecake that we bought. It's the strawberry and bubble duck. Yeah. And that's the cheesecake that we're buying from is the puddle duck vineyard. So they have this special bubble duck is basically a drizzling a, a fizzy drink and fizzy wine and they have cooked the strawberries in that bubble duck. So it will be interesting if you just introduce yourself. Uh, right? my, my name's Nick, I'm the cellar door manager at the vineyard. Okay. Uh, so so um, we're, we're a vineyard but we like to experiment with our wine. So we've made a whole range of uh, jams um, which have our wines or products in them. <laughs> um, same with our pies, they've got our, our Pinot and our Chardonnay in them and it's a way of also working with other local producers yeah, right. to um, sort of collaborate and help them out and helps us out at the same time. So. And why it's called puddle duck? Uh, it's an English term for when a duck pokes its bum up in the air um, and is trying to feed on the bottom and uh, we had a little dam, they all started doing that at the same time and it seemed like a pretty good name for a vineyard so uh, we went from there. So yeah, yeah. And this is um, this is Meg who is my wife's cousin and Will who is my next door neighbour's son so okay. it's a small little family concern. Fantastic, so, fantastic, right, thanks very much. Awesome. We'll, we'll enjoy the cheesecake. <laughs> so Rudima is trying this cheesecake with strawberry topping and bubble duck. Bubble, bubble duck. <laughs> and some yeah, it's basically a bubbly drink here. Sparkling very drink. Nice. Very nice. The cheesecake is very nice. And it looks delicious actually. Yeah, very, very attractive. We had a lovely time. The store manager was very kind to explain their product they produce and what they do uh, and so it was very interesting we always love if somebody interact with us on the video and participate in the video naturally look at this cheesecake and they served on a vine leaf this is a very genuine way of presenting their vineyard products and if you can serve on a vine leaf what else you can do that's the best way to serve your local produce from a vineyard on a vine leaf and this is also another vineyard pressing matters they're selling their wines these are mostly vineyard and winery festival i guess with some food in presence frogmore creek is very renowned uh, 
winery here in southern Tasmania and uh, they have very popular wines they produce and you can buy it from all the bottle shops and these guys are selling some Tasmanian gourmet seafood overall it's the beginning obviously this festival is starting this year and I'm sure as day progresses there will be a lot more people so we came inside this uh, wine tasting masterclass and they're organized by the pressing matter the shop that I just photographed welcome thank you for coming along and I'm gonna hand over now to Stephen Carly thank you uh, do you know Tasmania is one of the very fast few locations in Australia started uh, vineyard and producing wines. In 1823 Tasmania started producing wines. Very interestingly uh, in 1850s they discovered gold in Australia particularly in Victoria and a lot of Tasmanians were lured to Victoria working in coal mines and so all the vineyards in Tasmania left alone, rotten, and uh, they were vanished basically for quite a few years, few decades, until in 20th century when the Tasmanian wine industry was revived and particularly because of its cooler climate and very effective for wine producing. Also very interesting relationship with Tasmanian devils. These Riesling wines are approved by Tasmanian devils kind of they say in bracket Tasmanian devils have sweet tooth so they always look around smell around the perfect wine and the grapes the right kind of grapes that will be very sweet to produce this kind of Riesling wines so if you have a perfect Riesling wine that means in Tasmania that's been approved by Tasmanian devils so that's kind of like a funny fact but it's kind of reality as well When we came in the morning, we had like about 100 people. Now look at the site. It has got nearly 1,000 and it's increasing. And this is becoming very vibrant, beautiful site to look for this weekend. Obviously, this is the first year of this festival, the inaugural festival in 2024. I'm sure this is a fantastic idea and over the years, next few years, this festival can only grow because Tasmania has one of the finest climate and the soil condition to produce not just wine, variety of fruits, vegetables and agriculture product. I've got personal relationship with many vineyards in Australia and uh, New Zealand. And so I know that the vineyards are like your favorite child. You have to nourish and take a good care of your vineyard before the vineyards can start producing good wines and you have to have the perfect climatic condition for that and Tasmania is one of the best in the world to have that kind of conditions the agricultural conditions that can produce fantastic world-class wines it was another fabulous day in Richmond today hope you enjoyed our extraordinary tour in this inaugural harvest festival in Richmond Cold River Valley Harvest Festival and this is the best way to end our video with this background of Richmond and this is a fabulous sight, isn't it? Hope you enjoy these two episodes. One is in Richmond and the other one is in this harvest festival at Richmond. And thank you very much for watching our travel videos. Goodbye until the next video.